And we're gonna do some comparisons. Look at all these purples that I pulled out. How satisfying is this little uh, array here? Hello. Let me know what you're wearing on your nails. You can just describe the color. You can tell us what it's called, whatever you want. But I love hearing what other people are wearing. Um, I am like deep into fall colors, obviously, <laughs> right now. And so just having a blast. But yeah, let me know what's on your nails. Are you wearing green, pink? Oh, fun, serious, what a good one. Pebble, you know what, Peggy, that one's not in this array here, but it probably could be. Um, but I don't, yeah, maybe I'll grab it in a minute, but purple, okay. Two votes for purple. I'm gonna be putting on um, Fairy, which we're gonna talk about tonight um, when we're done with these comparisons. So I'll be joining you in the purple club, reddish purple berry. Jen, I think we'll give you credit. I think that counts. Oh, nice. Oh, Sienna, classic. I love it. I love that orange. Oh, I love oranges so much. Great choice. I have ginger right here. It's always a good choice. Always a good choice. Always a good one. I was, um, I had in mind, you know, the comparisons that I was going to do tonight. And then as I was pulling things off of my rack, I just kept like finding things, more colors that I wanted to pull. So <laughs> some of these we're not going to actually get on the nails because it's too many, but we'll see. Um, yeah, this is Radiance. This was, um, from a summer collection last year, but, uh, um, I think kind of fits in this like rich pink purple spread here so we're gonna look at that one um and i wanted to show it kind of next to what i'm wearing which is the combination of uh one of the creams in this collection with hail so the the glitter is pretty different but yeah how lovely soya storm oh man some lovely colors on there so if you're just joining us let us know what you're wearing on your nails you can tell us the color you know, describe it or tell us actually what it is, whatever you want. I am just going to finish taking this off and then we're going to do some comparisons. So the two colors that we're talking about tonight are the last two colors in this collection. I already did um, on Thursday last week. Oh my gosh, I have no idea. Thursday, I think. Um, I did live comparisons for the creams in this collection. So we did three of the colors and now we're going to do... Um, Jesse, you can paint with us. Yeah, grab a polish. Um, tonight we're gonna do the shimmers in this collection. And so we'll talk about them a little bit. We'll do some comparisons. Um, one of them I've posted on my grid, but the other one will go post tomorrow. Um, but I've definitely been sneak peeking all of these. So the two that we're gonna talk about are these two right here. This is Chosen. And this is Fairy. Um, Fairy is a warm purple metallic. It's very warm, um, especially compared to Chosen. It's, I think, somewhere even on the like pink spectrum because the metallic in here is so warm and has that lovely pink flash. And then Chosen, I would say this is still a, hey, a warm purple. Um, you'll see it kind of compared to some cooler purples here in a second, but it is um, a, I don't know, it's probably more in the middle. It's cooler than fairy, but it's probably more in the middle, but it does have this warm, uh, like bronzy gold shimmer in it um, that is the same shimmer as is in Sumac, uh, but in a very different uh, color, right? So Sumac is this like burgundy red color and Chosen has the um, like warm purple. I feel like it looks really warm. The purple looks really warm next to Sumac, um, but next to Fairy, it looks really cool. So, you know, it's always <laughs> a little relative, um, but yeah, I love them both so much. Oh, I'm so glad you like them. Yes. Um, and I love having this, you know, kind of similar finish in here. Um, lovely. Okay. So yeah, I know. I, I love this one too. This is one, um, when it came, the sample bottle came, I like gasped out loud. I was like, oh, it's exactly what I wanted. <laughs> it's so good. 
Um, okay, I am going to, let's see, we'll do some quick, just like bottles first, and then we'll kind of get some on the nails. But I wanted to show you first, just there are three kind of like purpley shades in this collection. Um, okay, so here are the three. They're pretty, you know, they're all purpley, but they're definitely not, um, I don't think, sim super similar to each other. So Chosen here has that gold shimmer, whereas Fairy is going to be that like nice metallic finish. So these have a pretty different finish. And then we obviously have the cream. This is Meiji. This is, um, I feel like I keep saying that wrong. It's not Magi because that's the character from Fern Gully. And um, I think it's more like Magi, like almost like Maggie, but Maggie. So I'm going to say Maggie. Um, I've watched like a hundred YouTube clips of it and I still second guess myself every single time, but, uh, this one's a cream. So I'm wearing it here with hail, which is a scattered holographic topper, but it is a cream. So obviously three very different finishes, but I've a lot of purple pink in this collection, which I just, um, was really feeling. So I hope you're feeling it too. So those are the three that are dropping. All three of these are dropping on Wednesday. Um, these are the other two creams. If you haven't seen them yet, this is the green and the orange. Oh my gosh, look at that. I love it. I had a lot of fun really like trying to challenge myself to do, um, I don't know, just like a warmer, bolder fall palette than I've really ever done before. Um, and so I, I just have been having a lot of fun with this collection. So I hope that you're enjoying it as well. And okay, let's, let's dig in. So um, I wanted to show you to just kind of position, we'll do chosen first. I just wanted to show you like to kind of show you a little bit of a better sense of what the base color looks like in Chosen. I wanted to show you some just like solid purples. So this is Scintillate, um, which is like this nice red kind of whiny color. Um, and Chosen is a warm purple, but it doesn't have as much red as Scintillate. And then this is Gratitude, which is this lovely like deep purple this is like almost black on the nails but still looks purple like it's as far purple as far deep as I could go without it looking black on the nails it's really dark purple um it still looks purple on the nails but it's really cool toned so you can see like the how warm it makes the base in chosen look so I want to show you that um and then this is the purple from last summer or last fall this is gaze which is much more of that like muted tone that I was talking about that I think a lot of my fall colors are. So really excited to have this pretty different purple. Um, I do also have one that is retired that I will show you. Um, this is Pisces. So Pisces is still a bit cooler than Chosen. Um, Pisces doesn't have that finish, the, the gold finish, the shimmer finish, um, and it's a little bit cooler but hopefully that helps you kind of place where that one's going to look in your collection. Um, I love this one. And like I said, it is um, similar and finished to Sumac, but I think you need both of these because they're of very different colors. If you're just joining us, let us know what color you have on your nails. Um, you can tell us like a specific polish or you can just tell us what color you're wearing because I always love to get inspiration from people. And I know we have a couple people on here who have naked nails so maybe they'll get some inspiration from you too uh okay so that hopefully gives you a sense of the color of like the base um and then i'm going to show you it swatch against some other like sparkly purples to just kind of show you like that Ooh, an orange and an olive green people are feeling the fall vibes i love it i'm still working on taking off my um mani from before because talking and taking it off is um, proving to be more challenging for me than it should be. Um, okay. A teal and a copper. Oh, do you have it like a Skittle or do you have some art with that? I'm curious. Hi, Tracy. That sounds like a fun combination, teal and copper. I like that. Okay. Um, which are you, I'm curious, which are you most interested in seeing Chosen swatched next to? I have um, Nebula, I have Sumac, um, I have Crocus, and I feel like these are probably the closest ones. Is there something else? I might do, I think I'm going to do these four, but if there's another one 
that you want to see it swatched next to, let me know. A skittle and too tired. Yeah, that's my whole life. I would never want to do nail art. I'm always too tired to do nail art. <laughs> so good for you for even having the um, motivation to do it. Fruit nail art. Oh, so fun. Everybody, you guys are all so creative. Sumac. Okay, so I'm going to do these four unless there's something else somebody wants to see. Um, it's watched next to. But these four are gorgeous. If you don't love purple, this is going to make you love purple. In my humblest of opinions. Okay, do do do. I'm going to, on the hand that I'm not swatching with, I'm going to um, just put some cuticle oil on while we're waiting. Oh, I do. Yes. I think, I think I, this was like in the last 12 seconds of my last live. So it, it happened really fast, but this is Slater and Maggie. Oh, you can't see the, this is my sample. <laughs> Put them down here. I think the only one that we talked about that's retired um, is Pisces. The rest of these are actually all still available. Um, so if you're missing them, you can still grab them. Um, Scintillate came out of retirement when? Last, in the spring maybe? Um, but yeah, the only one that's in retirement right now is Pisces. So, um, the rest are available if you're missing them. So you, if you fall in love, you could grab one. All right. I'm putting cuticle oil on my other hand, give it a little love while I swatch and then we're gonna do some swatching. Okay. So we're going to do, um, crocus. I filed my nails right before and I did a fast job of it. So I'm just trying to fix some unevenness that I see here. <laughs> okay. Wish list. There you go. Yes. Um, it is not back in stock. This is one that I've had for um, probably a year, uh, but I'm working on it for next year, probably. Um, my base coat is really low in stock. And so I prioritize bringing that, keeping that in stock um, before bringing back cuticle oil. That was kind of the trade-off that I made for myself. So, all right, so we're going to do these four and I think I want to do them actually in this order because that looks like from warm to cool, you know, I know I love it too. I love it too. Um, it wasn't super, super popular. So it's been honestly a little hard to prioritize bringing it back. Um, I think it has people who are like diehard fans, um, the cuticle oil, but um, it wasn't like the most popular product. So I've had to do some prioritizing, but I don't want it to be gone forever. So I'm working on it. All right, so we're gonna do Crocus. This is the only one of these four that has that scattered holographic finish. Um, we're gonna have kind of a mix of finishes here because this is Nebula, which I absolutely love. This is a metallic but this one is a really cool toned metallic. So I'll show you this one with fairy in a few minutes cause it's much cooler. It's metallic, but it's much cooler. So that's crocus and fairy or crocus and nebula. And then we'll do chosen. Oh, I can probably zoom in a little bit here. Let's see. Sometimes it goes wild. Yeah. Oh, that's better. Okay. So here's chosen. So glowy. I love it. Chosen might get, well, you can have like a fall favorite. Chosen can be your fall favorite and Nebula can be your winter favorite. Tracy, you can like mix it up if you want to. <laughs> I fully recommend having um, multiple favorites, um, especially when it comes to purples like this. Okay, here we go. This is Sumac. So this one is more of a burgundy. It's not really a purple, but um, I think it's still good to compare. Oh, a green version of Nebula. Like still with the silver, like the cool metallic. I feel like a lot of times I see greens that have like, um, you know, that have like the gold in them, uh, like a warmer metallic, but maybe that'd be really cool with the cool toned. 
So here's the second coat of Nebula. I actually feel like Nebula probably is one you could get away with in just one coat. Um, but we're going to do two of all of these. Yeah, with the silver. Oh, fun. That sounds fun. All right, here we go. And I, so I think um, that Dracarys is going to be the best seller from this collection. I always like to make a prediction. I'm, I think I've been wrong probably 60% of the time. <laughs> so don't trust me. But I think this one's probably going to be the best seller. However, I'm wondering if Chosen is going to give it a run for its money because Sumac has been one of my best col best selling colors for a long time. Like it's, I think it's always in my top 10. Um, so I'm just curious if, you know, because they're somewhat similar, I'm curious if they're going to, I don't know, if it'll go well. Yeah. Sumac, I, yeah, it's a, it's a good one. I love it too. All right, so here are these four. Um, all, I feel like, very different takes on sparkly purple. Um, not, definitely not anything duplicative here. I have a little nebula on my little sparkles oh that's a good question uh do i still have wild on my desk do, do, do. so i would say um i'll grab wild a bottle of wild. oh yeah here it is i thought i still had it um here we go so the particles in wild are a little bit bigger which uh are you gonna be able to see that on camera I don't know they're very very similar but I would say uh or I know that like the literal glare that's in wild is a little bit bigger than what's in chosen um so like I think I can put two swatch photos in my stories if you look at the swatch photos of wild I feel like um, you can see the particles a little bit more, whereas in the swatch photos of Chosen, or even right here, it's a little bit more just like a glow. Let me see if I can, if it'll come across on the, if I put Wild on my thumb here for a second. Yeah, okay, let's see. So Wild, yeah, they're going to be a little bit bigger, and so they're a little bit more, like, um, dispersed in the base, if that makes sense. And so you can already see, like, you can see more individual particles. At least I, I can. I don't know if it's going to translate on the phone. Um, versus, like, seeing a, a shimmer, like a shift in Chosen. Does that make sense? Yeah. Glad that's helpful, Peggy. Here, I'll put a second coat so you can see. Yeah. It's just a different... Um, like, shimmer versus glow, maybe? Shimmer versus shift perhaps. So that's wild. Yeah, cool. I'm glad that helps. I really love, I mean, I really love both of these finishes. Like, I feel like they both are really fun. Um, and the difference is subtle. Obviously, you know, I think that's the difference is like, you have to really like nail polish to see that difference, I think. <laughs> but, um, but it's there. It's there. And in terms of the like, um, components of the polish, I know that they're slightly different, right? Um, okay, so here are these four sparkly purples. So Crocus has the scattered holographic effect, and it's like a pa more pastel purple. Um, this one is Nebula, has the metallic finish, and it's much more on the cool tone side of purple, so it has a lot of that, like, blue base. And then Chosen is a kind of medium tone purple with that gold glow, and Sumac is a burgundy base so much more on the red side of the purple spectrum and it has the similar kind of gold bronze glow as chosen and so those are your four sparkly purples i love them <clears throat> okay and then i can quickly show you chosen next to some of the creams if that's helpful just to get a better sense of the base color um, let me just take off some of these. Yeah, okay, and let's see again. So here's Wild. It's like, now it's dried down in case anybody else had that question too. So what's the difference between the finish on these two? This is Chosen, this is Wild. What's the difference between the finish? Um, wild has 
a more disparate gold glitter and chosen here has more of the like golden glow the sh kind of shift um it's more densely packed and the particles are a little bit smaller so they just look a little bit different yeah so let me show you next to some of the creams so um this is scintillate so it's obviously not that kind of um whiny color but here it is next to gaze from last year's fall collection and gratitude and I, it's definitely not as um like muted as gaze is and it's not as cool toned as gratitude which is actually from the winter collection last year um it's somewhere right in the middle and then i do have pisces which is um uh, uh semi-retired right now but it just recently like at the end of the summer middle of the summer um but it is pisces is more cool toned um in the bottle than chosen is so i would say they're like kind of in this from warmest to coolest here and they're all just so lovely i love a good i love a good purple especially in the fall um, okay, so the other one, I'm just taking off those swatches here. So the other one that we're going to talk about tonight is Fairy. And that is this lovely warm metallic. I adore it. And my thought was that I would do this comparison, Chosen, Fairy, and Radiance. Um, maybe I'll put Nebula in there just because it's like a similar, you know, kind of that metallic finish. Um, but a different base because um, I don't really think either of these are helpful. Um, yeah, I'm thinking about these four. So I have Nebula, Chosen, Fairy, and Radiance that I'm going to swatch next to each other. Um, if there's something else that would be helpful to see next to them, please let me know. Happy to pull something, but I think, um, oh, you know what I was thinking about? Actually, I want to grab Garnet. I'm going to show you Garnet. Let me grab that one. what happens I like make my list and then I don't look at my list I'm like oh I'll remember okay so I want to show you garnet maybe I'll show you that one instead of nebula um garnet is red but it's from last fall and um has a nice I think a very similar finish um but is much more red so if you're looking for a fun metallic um and fairy is not the right like undertone for you then maybe you would like uh, garnet instead. Thank you. So glad you like them, Peggy. I really don't like them when they're super streaky, so try to have them not be streaky. Sometimes it just kind of comes with the territory on metallics, but okay. Yeah, I'm gonna do these four. I love them. I think they're lovely. And then I'm gonna wear fairy uh, tonight. That's gonna be my manicure for I think for launch, I think I'm going to leave it on for launch. I don't know that I'm going to have time between now and Wednesday to do my nails again. So <laughs> I think we're doing it for launch. These are launching Wednesday at 6 p.m. If I haven't said that. Um, yet. Oh, I love that. A confidence reason you went with Garnet. That's wonderful. I hope that the meeting went well. Yeah, it's a great... I feel like red can be kind of like a power color, you know? It's very bold, for sure. All right, so there's one coat of garnet. Yeah, I love it. Oh, good. I'm so glad it went well. <laughs> That's so good. Okay, so this is gonna be the first coat of fairy. And I honestly debated whether I should even call this one a metallic pink, but I do think it's purple um, in the end. And so I'm curious, you know, somebody's always going to disagree, but I'm curious. Um, I think it's, I think it's nice. Okay. And then this is Radiance, which is a pink scattered holographic. Um, 
but kind of fits in this family of colors, I think. And if you're looking for something sparkly and on this like pink, purple, red category, then that's a good option. And then this is Chosen. So this is the other um, non-cream polish coming in this year's fall collection on Wednesday. That's Chosen. Okay, if you just joined us recently, um, let us know what color you're wearing on your nails. You can just describe it or you can tell us the name, whatever you prefer. Um, but I always love hearing what people are wearing. So, all right, I'm gonna do second coats of these. And I know there were a couple people who said that their nails are not currently painted. So maybe you'll inspire them. Okay, so that's two coats of garnet. These are more the like ribbon kind of metallics. Um, whereas Nebula, which I showed in the last comparison is more of like a foily metallic. Um, so I'd say Garnet and Fairy probably have the closest finish of any colors in my collection right now. Um, uh, but they're obviously very different colors. <laughs> brown metallic oh I think I saw that Tracy it looked so lovely and cactus flower you guys are wearing great colors see I love hearing what you're wearing okay here's gonna be two coats of radiance again probably just you know helpful for a color reference not the same finish of course um, and here's gonna be chosen so Chosen was inspired by, there's a trope in fantasy stories that is the Chosen One. And um, so that's what Chosen is inspired by. And then, um, cause I honestly, because I had a hard time choosing, I realized I had so many characters that I love who fit into that category. And then I went down all these rabbit holes researching like, is this character actually fit into that trope, you know, by definition and decided that, that didn't matter. Um, <laughs> but uh, decided to just kind of try to exemplify the concept of the chosen one rather than a specific character um, and thought that was really fun. So, yes. Okay. Oh, a Skittle of Rusty Copper Red, Deep Blood Red. That sounds so fall, like almost fall, like leaning into spooky season. Olive is a great choice, Emily. I love, you guys are all wearing lovely colors. Um, okay, so here are these four kind of sparkly shades. We have Garnet, which is a red metallic. We have Fairy, which is a very warm purple metallic. Radiance, which is a magenta with that scattered holographic finish. And then Chosen, which is a nice kind of mid-toned purple with that gold shimmer glow. Yeah, let me know um, if you have a favorite here, but they're all so different. Asking you to pick a favorite feels a little mean, honestly, um, because yeah, they're just so different. <laughs> I love them. Um, okay, is there anything else that would be helpful to see next to Fairy? Um, if you are, I guess I'll show you again next to um, the other, here we go. Here we go. Okay, so this is, um, yeah, I know. I won't make you pick. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Um, okay, so these are the three kind of purple, you know, spectrum colors um, that are coming. Um, oh, Nebula. Okay, I can show you Nebula. I just took off Garnet, so I'll replace it. Um, these are the three kind of spectrum of purples that are coming Wednesday at 6 p.m. Three very lovely different finishes, right? Um, but I'm really excited about them. Okay, let me show you Nebula real quick. Here we go. Like I said, Nebula is more of a foily finish, which just means that you can like see those silver particles uh, more. They're a little bit bigger. Um, so I think it's still, I still describe it as a metallic, but it's a, a foil metallic. So it's going to have a slightly different um, look to it. Still gorgeous, but... Just a different finish from Fairy. All right, so here you go. This is not the most um, perfect swatch, but hopefully that gives you a sense of the difference in both the color and the finish um, between Nebula and Fairy. So here, 
I'll show you this way. All of these again. This one is Nebula, which has that uh, cooler purple base and a more of the metallic foil finish. And then Fairy has the warm purple base in that metallic finish. Radiance. Oops, I have these backwards. <laughs> Let's try that again. Okay, Nebula is the um, cooler purple base in the foil metallic finish. Fairy has the warm purple base in the metallic finish. And then Radiance is more of a magenta base with that scattered holographic finish. And then Chosen is kind of a mid-toned purple. It's like right between uh, Fairy and Nebula. And it has that golden glow, that golden shimmer. So I hope that's helpful for Nebula and Fairy. Honestly, until I sat down, um, I'll be honest, I didn't even realize that I had all these purples <laughs> in my collection. Um, so, you know, I hope you're enjoying them because uh, I'm enjoying them. Winter has not this many purples. I was almost going to say zero, but that's not true. But it doesn't, it's not uh, like half purples. <laughs> so um, winter is going to be the other side of this story, which I'm really excited about. I've never quite done that. Um, so I'm excited about that. I'm going to do... Uh, I'm gonna paint fairy on my nails. Um, so I need to take these off. Yay! Sammy, did that help to see it next to Nebula? And if you come up with any other, I'm gonna start painting my nails. So if there's any other swatches or any other comparisons you wanna see, I'm happy to show you, you know, in the bottles. Uh, but not, um, I just won't paint them because I'm gonna paint my nails. Yeah. How many bottles of retired colors? Yeah, that's a good question, Jen. I honestly, I usually just keep one. I mean, I do, um, you know, for most of the colors, maybe not the ones that I did like in my first year, just cause I, I don't know. I didn't, couldn't, didn't have the foresight to know that I would need them. But, um, for most of my colors, I have like, you know, at least one of the sample bottles that I approved at some point in, um, production. And so, I have one like, you know, like Pisces, I have one like in my <laughs> collection, like literally on my um, wall. But then yeah, I probably have like one at least or two. Um, the problem is that I don't always know when they're going to retire, right? Like I, I now have a better sense. I'm better able to predict like, okay, I'm probably going to sell out in this many weeks of this color. Um, and I just want as many people to have them as possible. So <laughs> I just, yeah, I just have one um, for the most part. But I could technically order like uh, another sample. Uh, but I mean, it cost me some money to do that. So, um, but yeah. Okay, I'm just cleaning this hand. I wasn't swatching on this hand, but um, I did put cuticle oil on. So yeah. Yay. Okay. All right. Um, so I'm going to put on fairy and I'm going to do my base coat, which I'm really excited about. Here we go. Okay. Whew. Yeah, I know. I feel like maybe I should, maybe I should keep more, but, um, yeah, I want, I want people to have them, <laughs> right? I'm like, I, um, want people to have them especially the ones that I like don't anticipate bringing back. Um, there are probably some that I have two of cause I like misplaced my bottle and then I needed a sample of it or something. And so I, you know, pulled another piece of inventory for myself, but yeah. My, um, for a while I was keeping any of the like bottles that had damage for myself. But then the problem was I always need them like, yes, I want to wear them, but I also always need them, you know, to like show in videos like this or to take photos of. And I was like, well, <laughs> I can't keep for myself. Then I can't keep bottles that are like, I don't know, have damage on the outside or are, you know, covered in polish. It's like those, I can't use those <laughs> in my videos. So, um, I had, you know, I had to find another way to get a use for those. So. Hello. Thanks for joining. Tracy, I'm so glad you're treating yourself. You deserve it. You treat other people so much. Tracy sends these beautiful um, gift packages. 
to people all over the place. Um, and she's so sweet. Okay, I probably need to file my nails more, but I'm not going to. Do, do, do. If you are a somebody who prefers to watch videos on YouTube, I have been posting the replays of these lives over on YouTube. I post them on my feed too, but here on Instagram, but um, I've posted them over to YouTube. So if you're a YouTube fan um, or you just like to watch things um, over there, or if you like to watch things faster, um, you can watch them on like 2x speed there. So you can catch the replay over there. All right, so I did my base coat. Now we're gonna do fairy. I just love this one so much. Like, look at the... the finish is good, the finish is good. All right. Uh, you can, if you um, go to, I think my last post and you comment next drop, uh, some magical Instagram robots will automatically dm you the link to see all the colors i did upload um product photos and made product listings so you can see the individual colors um, they don't have every swatch and every comparison yet uh, i'm gonna work on that over the next day or so um, but if you just want to see them all in one place if that's helpful for how you like to think about things or you just want to see a bunch of pretty pictures um then you can just you can do that you can comment that um on my last post comment next drop and it'll DM it to you, but the post that I send up tomorrow will work the same way. You can comment next drop and it'll give it to you, so. Yeah. All right, if you're joining us now and you haven't already told us, let us know what kind of a color you're wearing on your nails. Are you, uh, you can tell us the name of the color. You can just describe it to us. Um, I feel like we have a lot of, um, we have a lot of, people who like to take inspiration from what you're wearing would I ever wear make a gold similar to fairy yeah I don't have a ton of um golds really I just have, like stardust which is kind of like a um more like a rose gold and it's like more in the nebulas finish it's more in the like foil metallic um but I bet a gold would be really pretty in this finish so I could consider it um, it's not coming in the winter collection. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> what season would you put a gold in? I guess it maybe it depends like fall, winter, probably depends. That's always my struggle is that I'm trying, I like have so many colors that I would love to do. Um, hello. Thanks for joining. Let us know what you're wearing on your nails. What color are they right now? Love to get inspo. Um, I have so many colors that I would love to do and even colors that I've like prototyped. Um, but then, you know, it takes me, I'm trying to fit them into a collection that they're going to fit into. Um, yeah. All right. So this one is Crocus. Oh, such a good one. I just um, compared that one to the two purples in this collection that are dropping. So we've been talking about Crocus already. So good. Okay. This one, uh, Fairy, is probably a little bit on the thinner side than uh, Garnet was, so um, I mean, I just think it needs two coats. It's not like super thin for me, uh, but it definitely needs that second coat for sure. All right. So that's my first coat of fairy. I feel like it looks magical, right? It's like, so, I don't know, fairy wing vibes. <laughs> I feel like, yeah, I love it. Um, I, it's definitely harder. Uh, so they're asking if I struggle painting my non-dominant hand. Um, it's definitely harder for me than painting my dominant hand, but I feel like, you know, I've figured out the way that works for me to do it. Um, and so I'll, I'll show you when I get over there. I'm left-handed. So this is, I'm painting with my dominant hand right now. Um, 
So I'll kind of show you what I do that helps me paint with my non-dominant hand, which for me is when I'm painting my left hand with my right hand because I'm left-handed. Oh yeah, it is tricky. It is tricky. I'll show you what I do. Um, Peggy, it is not launching with the fall collection. Just the fall collection is launching with the fall collection. <laughs> But good question. It is coming, but not uh, not with fall. All right, I'm gonna do my pinky. Okay, my two tips. I have two tips for painting your with your non-dominant hand. So I'm left-handed, so. I'm about to paint my dominant hand with my non-dominant hand and I have two tips. My first tip is to just make sure that both of your hands are really well stabilized. So I'm gonna get my brush and I'm gonna rest my wrist totally flat on the paper and rest my dominant hand too. So I'm trying to be as stable as possible. Um, I mean, obviously you have to move it to paint, but having that base be really stable and just kind of trying to move my fingers um, and move them as little as possible really helps. Um, so that's my number one tip. And then my number two tip for painting your non-dominant hand is actually to use the fact that you have really good control over your dominant hand to help you. So I'm gonna get my paint on my brush. And this is kind of how I can get the sides. I will, when I'm painting with my dominant hand, I mostly use the brush but I will actually like rotate my finger it's really flat on the table and I'm just rotating it to help me get the sides um so that I don't really even have to change the angle of this hand um of my non-dominant hand I'm using the like control that I have over my dominant hand to help me so um I'll show you again I'm gonna paint down the middle flat and then I'm gonna actually kind of rotate my finger so that I'm not really even having to move the brush. I'm just able to keep the brush in like one position. Um, so that's what I do. I'm sure there's a million other tips out there. So if anybody watching <laughs> has other tips to help, um, I feel like this came up a couple weeks ago too. It's, you know, I think it's a question that a lot of people have when they do their nails at home. So if anybody out there has tips, those are my two tips for painting my non-dominant hand. Just feel like you kind of figure out the tactic that works for you. Um, but yeah, the like rolling my hand, it's subtle. Um, you know, I'm not like <laughs> flipping my hand all the way over, um, but that's definitely what helps me. So I know, and I feel like probably people are going to be like, I tried that and it didn't work for me. So, you know, let us know if there's something else that works for you. Um, but that is fairy. So that's what I just painted. Um, I'm going to put my top coat on. This is my quick dry top coat. This is, oh. Practice definitely makes perfect. Yeah, 100%. A um, 100%. It definitely makes perfect. Okay, I was trying to open this, read comments at the same time, and I messed up one of my nails. So we're just going to fix it real quick. Here we go. All right, so we are going to do some top coat. This is an older bottle of top coat, so it's a little bit thicker. Um, so I'm going to try to manipulate it as little as possible and just kind of let it flow over the nail. But oh my goodness, when the top coat hits, it's just so good. Am I right? I mean, these ones are great, but like, there's just something about that top coat. <laughs> it just makes everything better. Thank you. I love it too. I'm really, really digging it. And then my desk is an absolute disaster. You can only see like this much of it, but out here <laughs> there are so many bottles of nail polish from um, this week's comparisons and last week's comparisons. Um, it gets a little chaotic in here, but honestly, I'm not gonna clean it until this weekend because <laughs> there's my to-do list for the next three days is pretty long. So we can survive with a messy desk for a couple days, I think. But it's pretty because they're all, you know, like variations of the same color, right? There's like a bunch of oranges, a bunch of greens. So, yes. 
I know, I know. <laughs> I try um, to get them out as quickly as possible, but I know there's always some waiting time. Even if you live right down the street, you know, it takes some time. There we go. Okay, yep, there's that top coat. How often do I do my nails? Um, I, like a full, you know, sometimes I'll do them three or four times to get, if I need to get like photos of something, um, I'll do them three or four times like at once. But if I'm, I'm not doing all the steps usually when I need to get photos um, or all my nails, I just do, you know, four or five nails depending on what I'm getting. Um, but like sit down like this and do a full manicure, uh, it, probably between once and twice a week. Like you might be seeing the only one that I do this week. <laughs> it depends. Um, it's going to be a busy week. So you might be seeing the only one I do this week. Um, I painted my nails last on what's today? Monday. I painted them on Friday, um, evening. And then I'm painting them today because I'm doing this live with you all. <laughs> Otherwise I would not be doing this tonight. Um, yeah, and I might not do them again until the weekend. So, you know, I would say between once and twice a week. Yeah. Yep. But I used to, I mean, I, um, before I, before I ran all of that polish, I, um, swatched on YouTube. And so I would, you know, probably swatch like 20 polishes a week. Um, I was only doing my nails fully still probably once or twice, but got a lot of practice. Um, got a lot of practice. Yeah. But now um, running this business and with my kiddo, I usually paint my nails once or twice a week. Yeah. All right. Um, okay. So this is fairy chosen. I'm going to just pull out all the colors that are launching on Wednesday before I say goodbye to you. Cause I'm just so excited about this collection. Um, and I hope you enjoy these comparisons. Again, if you want to see comparisons of the three creams, um, that's already up on my on my feed or it's over on YouTube if you like watching longer videos there. Um, and I've been pulling out the, you know, shorter clips and posting them so you can catch those if you don't want to have to watch all the chitter chatter and you just want to see the comparisons. Um, you can see those there. They will also be uploaded um, to all the product listings for these colors so that you can see them on launch day um, in case that helps you to narrow down your choices. But if you have any questions or there's any other comparisons or anything else you want to see, um, like please, please, please don't hesitate to DM me or comment on one of the posts uh, about this collection. I am happy to answer. And like I said, if you comment on my last post, next drop, um, it will send you the link in your Instagram DMs to see all the colors. I will also put it in my stories um, once I hop off this live. I'll send you the link. You can see all the colors. Um, I'm still working on getting all of the swatches up. Uh, and all the comparisons up, but you can see some of them. So yeah, thank you so much. Um, I'm so glad you're liking the purples and thanks for joining me and I will talk to you next time. Bye everybody.